I just don't understand why it takes so long. Like people do their reviews within the first week of the month. Why I gotta wait till the last week of the month? Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today we're doing another BoxyCharm. Now I told you guys in my BoxyCharm Lux video that I had a whole mix up with my very first order with them. I was pissed off and that I had already been charged for my April box before I even got the March box. So I did say in that video that I was canceling my service and I did. And then today is April 22nd and I just got my April box, which I was charged for on April 1st. So I wanted to share with you guys what I got in that box because I think I might be a little surprised. I don't know. I'm gonna let you guys see it and you tell me what you think. Before we get into the video, I would like to invite you to join the family if you're new. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell. So you know, every time I upload, I upload videos twice a week. So I have content coming for you guys. A lot of stuff in the works. If you want to see what I got in my boxy charm, and if I'm going to have to eat my words, <laughs> From my last video, then stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, so first off, let me say, let's keep track of Barbara eating her words on this channel. Y'all, I get heated, and when I get heated, I just start, blah, 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 blah. I'm not doing this. I don't want this. That head starts going. And then I'm like, oh, my bad. So, <laughs> what did I say in my video? I'm not impressed. I showed this to you guys in the video I just uploaded with my Fenty Skin Tint review. And I use this as my everyday makeup palette. This palette is not bad. I have to say, this is what it looks like. And the colors, like, really for an everyday palette, minus that pop of blue, this is, like, this is really, really good. And I was surprised because when I swatched the shadows, I was like, this is yuck. This doesn't feel like anything. Like, why? But my very first time using it, I went in with this shade up here. And I was like, ooh, this just feels like the prettiest. It's, it's not foiled, but it's not a satin. But it's, like super shiny glides on really easy and I was like whoa I was not expecting that that's the main color I use that one or this one here Jason whenever I'm doing my eyeshadow look so I'm definitely gonna dive in this more this is in my top drawer so your girl's eating her words anyway let's get into the new box so this is my April boxy charm this is just the base box. I was not paying for the premium and I, you know, I'm not gonna sit here and say I'm not doing anything else anymore because I don't like having to eat my words. So we gonna stay in this moment right now and I will say that I was kind of surprised by this box. So with this being the base box, the theme this month is sweet treats. This being the base box, I forgot how much it is. Let me tell y'all real quick. I think it's only 25. I don't know. They went uh, they went up on their prices and so now it just kind of throws me off, but I'll insert it on the screen cuz I don't feel like wasting time looking on my phone. So anyway, I opened my box and I saw this. And so I was like, "Oh lord, some more crap I ain't never heard of. I said I wanted makeup, didn't get it, whatever." baby first thing on this card says natasha denona come through natasha denona ayana ayana palette this says special edition palette created exclusively for boxy charm featuring five ultra pigmented neutral cool toned shades i didn't know what it was so i just opened it on the back it does say ayana and it shows that it is a five pan palette. But I don't know, like I still didn't know what to expect and I didn't read, I just start opening stuff. This is freaking gorgeous. 
I am so impressed because these, I know for a fact that Natasha Denona shadows tend to go on deeper than they look in the pan. So this is going to be super dark. Easy crease color right here. I'm going to swatch it for you guys just because feels like her formula indeed those are the two shimmer shades beautiful colors I didn't expect that to look that pink it has a little pink to it and then I will swatch the mattes very creamy very pigmented I mean you don't expect anything less and this lighter shade looks like it could be a cute well maybe not I thought it could be a good lid color but so yeah, there are the rest of the shades. I thought that could be a lid color, but it looks a little too dark. I'd still be able to make it work, but this palette, I ain't even mad at it. This pretty much pays for the BoxyCharm and more because that, her five pan palettes, the big ones like this, retail for $48. The next thing that I got, which I'm, eh, I'm all right about. The, the, the <laughs> I'm stuttering. The palette made the box, point blank period. I don't care about nothing else in here. I really don't. But this is the Laura Geller Iconic Baked Sculpting Lipstick in the shade Greenwich Street Berry. I don't have a lot of Geller, a lot of Laura Geller products. I have her, I have some of the highlighters. I have two highlighting sticks, two highlighting liquids. I do have some of her uh, Baked Balance and Brighten, like the blush, I actually love that. Of course, I have Gilded Honey. So her, I have some of her stuff, but this is very interesting. I've never seen this before. I wanna get close enough so you guys can see the detail on it. It looks like a snake skin or something. But this is a very pretty shade to get ready for, oh, very pigmented, very creamy very pretty shade to get ready for the spring so i'm not mad about it at all and i guess they call it a sculpting stick because of how it's shaped you see right there it's kind of curved to fit your lips so that's cool and this laura geller lipstick retails for 21 dollars. the next thing that i got is a cleanser this is the terra de mars maison de cosmetiques naturels whatever gel body cleanser okay so this is not for your face it says coffee extract verbena and aloe vera soft cleanser suitable for all skin types infused with bioactive ingredients such as coffee rosemary extracts together they tone purify and protect the skin while aloe vera nourishes and softens it okay i guess i'm particular about my body creams and body lotions, body gels, body cleansers, because we sensitive. So I can't just put anything, but I don't know. Does this have a, oh, why it ain't sealed? I don't smell anything. It doesn't have a strong smell. It smells like it's a organic natural product. So that's a good thing. I'll give it a try. This cleanser retails for $22. The next thing in the box is this Tinted Moisturizer by Studio Makeup. Now, honestly, I was kind of looking forward to this because I don't have tinted moisturizers. I have foundations and that is it. So you can always make a tinted moisturizer with a foundation that you have and just sheer it out with a moisturizer, which is why I don't buy them. But I was like, if I can get it in a boxy charm and or some kind of subscription or at a discount, y'all know me, I'll be willing to try it. This one is in the shade Deep. I don't know how many shades came with it. It says hydrating, firming, and youthful effect. Lightweight, buildable texture for natural looking coverage. Infused with hyaluronic acid. Helps hydrate and brighten the skin's appearance. Comes with a pump. And make sure my hand is dry. Still pumping, nothing. Is this gonna make me open it? What is going on? There we go. <sighs> Y'all. I don't know if I picked this shade or not, or if they just gave it to me based on 
my preferences, but from what I see on my hand and my finger, it's a little dark, but because it's a tinted moisturizer, it might not be too bad. Ooh, that has a scent. I don't know what that smells like. I'm gonna leave this on my hand. I'm gonna pat it to let it dry down a little bit and see how it looks once it does. But you see my hand has a nice little sheen to it. It may not be showing it on camera, but it's a tiny, tiny bit dark. Not bad. It looks a lot darker when you first squeeze it out. But this retails for $35. And then the last thing we got in this box is the Eloise Get Gleaming Body Glow Illuminator. Blend the formula quickly and build it up for more coverage. Apply two to three pumps to cover a larger area or one to two pumps for a subtle glow. I have never used any kind of body glow product, nothing like that. It says this is in the shade Champagne Rich. All right, so this is what the packaging looks like. I'm sorry, I ain't even showing y'all packaging or nothing. So rude. Ooh, that is pretty. Hmm, it says shake. Is this like, I wonder if this is like waterproof and all that though. Let's see what this says. It's $38 and it is a non-sticky and lightweight luminizer that can be applied to all areas on the face and body for a dazzling buildable glow. Transfer proof formula is filled with ultra sparkly reflex to radiate your skin. Now here's my thing with these You say you're transfer proof. Ooh, comes with a pump But is all this glitter in here transfer proof because You go to give somebody a hug and then they got glitter particles on them and then the next thing you know People got problems when they get home. So we're gonna put this on my chest Do we see anything? Oh, there it is. It kind of feels like a gel. Put a little bit on my hand so you guys can see that. So this is what it looks like. So you can see it has a glow but I do see some sparkles in it, so I don't know how we feel about this glitter situation, but mm, I've never tried any body products. So this is the thing. This is why I originally wanted to get BoxyCharm because I wanted nice products that came in in a decent amount of time from when my card gets charged. And I wanted to be able to try stuff that I hadn't tried before. So, I did cancel right now I am not subscribed but I may be lurking to see I'm trying to see if I see that glitter I may be lurking to see what they're gonna offer for May oh, Lord my months what they're gonna offer for May because I don't know this has always been the fun part it's like Christmas to see what you're gonna get I just don't understand why it takes so long like people do their reviews within the first week of the month why I gotta wait till the last week of the month that don't make sense to me. So anyway, that is what I got. Super excited about the Natasha Denona. Glad they were able to charge me before I could cancel because I don't know, this box wasn't horrible. So we'll leave it at that. I'm eating my words on the palette from last month and I'm not disappointed about this one. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know if you're subscribed to BoxyCharm. What did you get and what do you think about this box? Does it make you want to join? Let me know in the comments below. If you're new, join the family, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.